Good evening. It was decided to do an event in Dubai on the 23rd of September. It was a Friday. By popular demand, we have shifted this event to 24th September, the Saturday, so that it would be convenient for you people to attend. So I'll be in Dubai on the 24th of September at 6 p.m. Hope to see you in Dubai. Those desirous of participating in the Dubai event can contact us at the WhatsApp number given below or mail to the email ID given below. We will see you in Dubai. Kindly drop us an email or send a message on the WhatsApp number. Good evening. As we did with Dubai, we decided to move the event in Abu Dhabi all also by one day to Saturday so that instead of 30th September we will have the event on 1st October so I will see you in Abu Dhabi on the 1st of October those living in Abu Dhabi need not take the pain of traveling to Dubai we will see you in Abu Dhabi on the 1st of October those who want to see me in Abu Dhabi may drop us an email at the address given below or contact us by the whatsapp number that flashes below my team will get in touch with you thank you Hi guys, welcome back. There's a video which has been going viral on Twitter and other social media platforms. It's an old video of Warren Buffett. Almost 30 years back in a Berkshire Hathaway, what's called AGM, he had spoken. In the Q&A session, he's spoken. And uh, I thought it was very pertinent and still very valid in to today's environment we are in, Anand. So, Anand seen that video. So, I thought I'll pick Anand. No, I have seen this video many long years, long ago. Yeah. But I also know this what it is. He is basically talking about investing within the circle of competence. Mm. You invest in what you know. You don't invest in stuff you do not know. If you don't understand something, don't, don't do touch it. it. Don't touch it. And he also says, don't believe in future projections. Future projections is all bull. Correct. Right? It is put together by a, a bunch of people who get a commission if you buy. Therefore, don't look at future projections. That's why I don't do brokerage reports at all. Always decide by seeing what you see, what you can see. That is the last 12 months. And all value is calculated by looking at what is already done. Mm. You don't want to believe in rosy projections. So Let's take example of Karnataka Bank, which was once my favorite stock. Mm. The whole world said I was an idiot to buy it at 30. Hmm. The last price I bought it was 70. Today it's 90. Yes, I yeah. do remember that. Yeah. And there was a time when I sold that stock for 220 rupees. Yes, 220. Average bought it back at 30 or 40. Then gave a rights issue at 70. I didn't buy the stock at 70. A rights issue at 70. Hmm. Then bought some more at 30, 40. Hmm. It makes... I understand the business. Mm. The business is just taking money from depositors mm. and lending for higher interest and keeping the balance and try to give a bunch of services for which I can charge. The share was available at a big discount mm. to book value. I bought it. Even today it is a discount to book value but the margin of safety is lesser. Mm. You stop buying it. Same thing with Federal Bank. You understand, you understand yes, the business. you understand the business. Basically, what banking business is, you understand it. But I take you money from you as a deposit, lend it mm. to somebody else. Mm. That's all. Correct. You make I, a charge on it. I make a charge it. on it. This is banking. Correct. Software is higher set of labor here. Mm. Who like your plumber, mason, like that. He knows different software. Java, Coda, you know, no more you guys talk all names. I don't know the names. And you put them, put these plumbers to work in a building with a building contractor who needs labor. This is what TCS does. So I hire people for 15 rupees and charge 60 rupees. Keep 45 rupees for myself. This is the Indian software model. True. You call me Infi, call me Vipro, call me TCS, call me anything. I hire labor for 15 rupees, put it for 60 rupees. Keep 45 rupees. In that I spend some money, retain 20 rupees. True. But isn't this a human nature problem itself? That we always constantly want to see what is the future. I you know. want to, astrology, you take it, you take it. Even weather forecasting, for instance. Weather forecasting is a very tough science. I mean, it's no, impossible. No, weather for forecasting is because you are going out into the sea. You are transferring 
weather forecasting came because you were moving goods from one place to another. Yes. So you didn't want to get caught in the storms. Yes, but I'm saying and the accuracy the of the projections is also... No, because you had insurance and the insurance companies wanted to minimize the risk. Hmm. So that is how they started. It started, yes. But it's, it's now become hugely scientific. You can predict when yeah. the rain is coming, when it... Which yeah, but not with any accuracy, right? No, no, you can... One week, you can tell me it's raining. Yeah, everyone makes fun of the weatherman, man. Come on. That, boss, he we says don't know. today it's going to be expected to rain 30%. You can't do anything with that information. That is because... Should you pack an umbrella or not pack an umbrella? I don't know. That is because... The heat wave which happened in Europe, no one could predict that, Anand. I don't know. The, the floods that happened see, in Pakistan. you cannot predict to the exact T. Hmm. But you can definitely see an... If a storm is coming, you have to move... That's what projection is. No, that's not projection. Because the radar shows you the direction at which it's moving. Correct. And but by the, the 30 percent chances, it can move off course. Correct. So, we cannot even... You, can, you cannot plot which direction it will move. How many give. people being in Chennai? We know this history of Chennai. Cyclone is Definitely coming, cyclone storm is coming. It will go off either to Pondicherry yeah, or it will go off into Andhra. In 2015, it hit you bullseye. Yes, but those but moments are very rare. Yeah, it's rare, but that's the way it is. But you can't be... You don't buy you a can't. stock based on that. Exactly, that's yeah, what my point is. You are trying to argue saying weather forecasting is a science. No, no. Then I can also argue saying projection and candlestick and all that is also science. Metrology. But what I am trying to say is, this is not about candlesticks. He is talking about... Human behavior. He is talking about not human behavior. Then? How much coke will I make next year? Hmm. I don't know. you have to base that on how much people are going to consume. Uh, that's a, I don't know how many, how much coke is going to be sold wait, next wait, year. Wait, I am trying to drive it into the conversation that the no, reason no, no, why you cannot, the two different... Sciences is, at least in weather forecasting, there is no human element involved. Mm. In Mrs. projection all that, that's a human element. Exactly. So, so that's it's a behavior of science. So, he says, I will sell, today I am selling 1000 cases of coke. Mm. Five years from now, I will sell 10,000 cases of coke. Therefore, give me a valuation based on that 10,000, not possible. True. Today, I sell 1000 cokes. Based on this valuation, are you willing to buy me? You can understand. Because I know what is Coke. Coke is syrup plus soda plus advertisement and marketing. True. The problem is we can never <coughs> quantify mm. the human element in any projection. That is the problem that, that, in any business projection. You is. cannot, you can, economics is not a science. What I can predict is what happened in 12 months back mm. and is this business good. Rest all, all tech mm. is gambling. Mm. I don't know whether Facebook will survive or I also don't know whether Google will survive. Yes, we all know MySpace, one thing which was a precursor to Facebook which disappeared before so Facebook. Or could. Yeah, or could, yes. It's okay. So yes. I can bring so many things. Correct. We had Netscape. And Orkut was the brainchild of Google itself. And they themselves could not foster so, its growth. So that's what I'm saying, Netscape. Yes. So what I'm trying to tell you is, you don't get what Buffett is trying to tell in that video and what I try to tell you. But I know masons are required. Hmm. Whether to make Orkut or Facebook, you need mason. Correct. Wait, so I'll, just, I mean, I'll just tell you what Buffett, his quote was. I'm reading it out. He said, you really should not make any decisions in security based on what other people think. Yes. If you're doing that, you should think about doing something else. Yes. You should stick to with businesses that you can, exactly. you feel you know somehow can evaluate it yourself. Exactly. This is what I'm saying. I know simply what is cigarette. Hmm. Cigarette is nothing but tobacco rolled and compressed into one thong. People are addicted to it, they are going to fag. Correct. There is a tax element. Correct. Apart from the tax, everything is my money. Correct. This is simple. Correct. I stick, my businesses are not very strong, very complicated. complicated because I know what I am talking about. This is also true with bonds, right? It true in bonds because I have to make a judgment whether I'll get the money back or not. Correct. In my best judgment, the money may come back. So basically, you evaluate the company or the security First person. you have to know the promoter. Hmm. I may be the most good business. Hmm. If the promoter does not want to pay back, I'm not going to get the money. Hmm. This is very true because I've seen you even if the market is swayed by a certain promoter and the shares of periodically been doing well. Because you do not trust the promoter, I've seen you, you always steer away from it. You don't risk yeah, it. So, promoter... No matter how good and uh, 
market forces this is are, it is for me so yes. the promoter i can't especially in india i can't enforce contract law very true so the promoter doesn't pay i am dead and how transparent do you think our auditings are when your financial reports annual report thing is uh, it is very 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 vague hmm. you have to take it with a bag of salt you hmm. saw what happened in satyam hmm. and most balance sheets are green shoot hmm. that's where the quality of the promoter becomes important and how much stake the promoter has hmm. the lesser the stake the more worried you are true very true so i would say a fair value i mean weightage is given to the guy running the company yes the people the guy who owns the company you always say i don't i don't know no chandra is not it's ratan tata not chandra yeah, it's real tata not chandra that is we have so always no, argued that no no yes. chandra is running the company correct who owns the company matters correct that's why nandan is better than any professional ceo hmm very true yogi deveshwar had skin in the game in itc i don't know whether sanjeev puri has that kind of skin in the game yet hmm what do you think is happening in wipro have you been seeing what's happening in wipro they have been having i'll major... tell you the wipro has all sorts of problems hmm the biggest problem in wipro is hmm the owner owns 75% okay and he is hands on and he is meddling with it okay you don't see ratan tata driving into tcs every day to fiddle with it true very true here prem ji and his son are daily fiddling with the business so people don't want to stick around people won't stick around you don't get high quality management if i'm going to fiddle around with the business every day hmm. and finally buffett says in this hmm you don't if why and he says this in very pun intended mm. you don't go to the barber and say do i need a haircut he say yes you need a haircut it's like similarly you don't go to a broker or a investment banker and say should i buy this company obviously he is going to get a commission if you buy the company True. so he is going to say it's great things about that they'll always want you to book the profit yes because on both sides he makes the money on both sides he'll make the money yeah a broker wants you to sell also correct he wants you to book the profits he doesn't want you to hold on to it so my idea is if you don't understand the business don't buy it correct mm-hmm. i think that's very sage advice to everyone out there even 30 years on i think it's still very relevant to everyone who's invested so most of these stocks i have recommended yes like why did i recommend natco at a highly price natco is a company that copies cancer drugs that other people make as soon as it goes out of patent right it loves a fight so it goes into a scrape with the company which has the patent it goes through the courts true but if he wins he, he will make money he has won more times than he has lost so the price of the stock was from 100 times earnings had come to 60 times earnings so i know the model the model is he is going to make cutting edge pharma which is on patent going off patent hmm. he is going to copy and give it to you agreed so let's take this what you said very true about the promoter so let's take the case of ashok leland versus uh, indusind bank both are owned by the hindu jag group yes why is ashok leland always struggling mm. while uh, indusind bank everybody to... wants easy to sell credit hmm you want a credit card loan they are into business retail business hmm so you want a credit card loan loan against property two wheeler loan four wheeler loan hmm and loan for self help group hmm. so there is no competition meanwhile ashok leland, leland is a out and out competition with tatas and their major customers are government organizations main thing is you are fighting tatas in the commercial vehicle matter tatas have more than 50% market share now you have other people like bens and other people volvo and all coming in true it's a comp- it's a small market which is competitive and you need money to buy Indusind Bank is an open market where anybody can lend. You have to take the deposit and lend. Hmm. That's the difference. I hope this was an interesting conversation for everyone. Same promoter, two separate businesses. Two separate. That's what I was trying to contrast. So show you promoter angle, and I wanted to discuss about business angle and how Buffett's uh, advice applies. So how we should study it is what I am trying to talk about. Thank you, Anand. Thank you. Thank you very much. If you like this video hit the like button sub- press the subscribe button and turn on the bell notification if you do not turn on the bell notification you will not be notified every time we put out a video once again i thank you for your support for beerage it's a great privilege and honor 
that so many of you in thousands have subscribed to my channel and have supported me. I have written two books in English, The Alchemy of Money and Ordinary Stocks, Extraordinary Profits. These books are published by us and are ready. If you want to procure a copy, send us a message to the WhatsApp number given below and my team would respond to you. If you want an Amazon Kindle copy, you can click the link below. Finally, those who wish to consult with me can send a mail to berichenglish at gmail.com. Once again, I thank you for your support. If you like this video, press the subscribe button of my channel, hit the like button and turn on the bell notification.